Hey guys, it's Irish again. In this video, I'm just going to show you how to do i3 blocks. Uh, in the previous video of mine, I asked if you guys wanted me to, um, you know, show you guys how to do i3 blocks, and you know, a few of you guys wanted to, so I'm going to do it. So I was very anti i3 blocks just because, you know, I try not to go with the new hotness um, when it comes to fads and everything. So I know a lot of people now that use i3 use i3 blocks. So I was very, you know, against it just because, you know, a lot of people wanted to go to it. But, you know, thought, you know, getting out of my comfort zone and because I've been on my conky here for maybe four years, three or four years. So I thought I would try uh, i3 blocks. So in one of the guys in the tiling window managers uh, Google Plus community, he has a very excellent screenshot. And every time I see stuff like this, it makes it, it looks really cool. So I'm going to show you guys, for the most part, how to get this uh, this configuration. So the first thing is that it's not the regular i3 blocks. You're going to have to download i3 gaps and then i3 blocks dash gaps. So since I'm in the, my arch here, if I just do a Yaourt i3 space gaps, you'll notice that uh, I have that here and then the other one would be I I3 blocks gaps git and then I have that installed so that's the first thing that you guys want to get if you're not on arch and I don't know if I've tested this on my Gentoo machine but I don't think it's it, it could be in an overlay but I have the github pages that I will put in the description below. So it may say i3, but it's a unofficial uh, fork of it. So you could have the gaps. And I did a video uh, prior uh, showing you guys how to do i3 gaps. So if you guys want me to link that in down below, I'll do that too. Um, the same guy who did the i3 gaps does the i3 blocks gaps. So this is what we need for sure to get it. So when you download it, um, I'll show you guys what this looks like. So we're just going to open up my i3 configuration file. And then, so once you download it, it's actually going to be the configuration uh, is in the Etsy folder. So it's just going to be the Etsy slash i3blocks.conf. So what we're going to do is just show you guys what this looks like by default. So if we save this and refresh, you'll notice here up on top uh, it has my IP address, the date and time, and then this is, you know, the standard uh, tray. So as my volume and stuff. So that is where the config looks like. So let me show you guys what it looks like. So this is the basic config. So it has your, they come in modules. And then you can create your own modules uh, if you want. I believe on the GitHub page here, they actually do have a, uh, a section or a man page, the wiki, whichever, but it tells you how to create your own modules. So the ones that are in here, like the memory, the disk, the volume, are a set of bash scripts that are located in the user slash libs slash i3 blocks. Sorry, not libs, lib. 
by 3. So as you can see here, it's bandwidth, the battery, CPU usage, disks, iFace. So if we, let's uh, just take the battery one. So if we go Vim i3 blocks slash battery, it's just a set of, uh, it looks like it's a Perl script. So you can come in here and tweak it however you want. So um, my battery, uh, it doesn't matter if it's bat one, bat zero, whatever, it will auto detect what battery it is and then it will output it. The laptop that I'm on right now, uh, the battery has failed, so it's not going to show up. But I have tested this, uh, the basic i3 blocks on my computer, on my Gen 2 computer, and it does auto detect the batteries. So you don't have to um, really do anything with the battery number, unlike in i3 status or in Conkey. So I'll show you guys what the, uh, so again, I'm taking this screenshot here and I'll show you guys what it looks like and how to do it. Before I move over, we're going to go back into the configuration file. There is one thing that you will need to do besides the status command is you want to put the height to 18 and then this is crucial. I'll show you guys what it looks like without it. Uh, and then so when you have your general, after the download, you have the i3 status, sorry, i3 blocks conf in the Etsy. You want to copy that over to uh, wherever you want it. So I put mine in the i3, full in my hidden folder for i3. So you're just going to be doing a CP Etsy i3 blocks and then you can move it to wherever so just show you guys it will be um, we'll just say home my name i3 and then i3 blocks dash two since I already have one in there now if we go into that folder you'll see the i3 blocks slash two so we'll look uh, so I'm going to switch over now to the status or the i3 blocks. Um, so the next thing you need to do is say status command i3 blocks dash c. The dash c is the config. So if you're not using the default fig, uh, this part here, uh, and you want to point it to the directory that you put this configuration file in, you want to put the dash C. So we'll just save this and we'll reload. And as you guys could see, uh, besides the blue bar, I have everything uh, that he has. Um, this part here, <clears throat> he's got an MPD module that I did not include. So that's what that is. This is my home. Uh, partition so I have 345 gigs left this is my core temperature it's running a little hot at 55 Celsius so it's like 110 Fahrenheit then I have 100% on my bandwidth or on my Wi-Fi signal and then this is the my volume and then this is the date or the time and then if I have any doesn't matter if it's AUR or regular updates this will show it right here so it will uh, do a different type of um, you know time interval so we'll finally take a look at what this uh, configuration looks like just so you guys can read it I'm just gonna put it in my i3 conf or mg edit we'll say blocks Let's go back. Dot com. Face. Okay. So, what you really need to do here, uh, you don't need this part, but if you want the arrows, you're gonna do uh, separators. 
So with the separators, what you want to do is do full text, then you're going to span the background color, the foreground color, and then that arrow here. And then you just want to say markup pango, which I believe uh, I don't remember ever downloading it, so it must have come automatically within the i3. So when you ever time you have the system fonts, you want to do pango. That's what it is. You just say fonts, pango, semicolon, and then whatever you guys want to do. And then the border color. So pretty much if you do create like a weather one, uh, you could put it uh, in the user lib location or you can put it anywhere and then you just point that uh, command to wherever the folder is wherever your script is or just like in my just like in my update I have a since I'm used Packer it's saying Packer dash capital Q lowercase u pipe WC dash L and this will check if I have any type of updating. I don't know if it's AUR and updates or if it's strictly updates, but it is very similar to my Conkey where it says check updates and then it's the same thing with the WC-L. And then it will say the signal, the interval, so it's 120 seconds, but we can again modify this, the border color. So all really, uh, I will link this uh, configuration file and the link to the uh, the guy's name is Felix Molero, uh, and he's very good at configuring i3, as you can see from his screenshot. And he does have the everything except for the wallpaper. So he has the bar color the conky here and his X resources he also has something uh, for his tmux uh, I don't know what the dunst RC is uh, but he's got everything here and I will link this too um, so if you guys have any questions please let me know put them down below and uh, if you don't have uh, i3 gaps the i3 gaps and i3 gaps um, block sorry i3 blocks gaps this will not work because I did struggle throughout this week trying to get this to go in the regular i3 blocks and it will not go it's got it has <clears throat> excuse me it has something unique about it that I would have to di dive into the code to figure it out but um, and you do have to have i3 gaps also because if you don't you'll see the the border color and it will not fill in these colors will not fill in no matter what so again it could be something with the code and then I'll show you guys also um, why you need the height of the bar here because if you don't have that height, you'll notice that there's this line here. It will go through the middle. So if you don't not if you don't have the height, then you're gonna have that line in the middle. Uh, why did that not work? Okay, so I don't know why it did not go away, but it will go away after a reboot. So make sure that you have the height set at 18 or whatever your screen size would be. So uh, if you guys, again, have any questions, please put them down in the comments below. Uh, probably still not going to be using i3 blocks, even though I do love this type of setup. And I think it, you know, unlike my i3 conky script, it separates it a lot nicer and it has the coloring so we'll see if I you know try to move this on my Gentoo uh, laptop or not but um, 
Yeah, I think in the next video I'm going to set up my IRC bouncer and also install Arch Linux on my first gen Raspberry Pi. So I'm going to take my time on doing those though because I'm going to start studying for my Security Plus um, and hopefully take that within the next couple months. So I'm going to try to concentrate on that more than making some of these videos so but I'm still going to be making the videos in the time frame so uh, I will catch you guys in the next video